And we're back with some more RimWorld and our little murder munchkins here are about to go on a little trip. Uh, we want to go over here to do a little bit of trading, but I thought we'd use the tra transport shuttle. We've never really taken advantage of this, and right at the moment we're sort of... Well, we're in the middle of nowhere, there's nowhere good to go, and it's going to be days to get anywhere, so I thought we'd... No, we don't want to attack them, we just want to go there. Right, and I think... Yeah, that picks up the entire caravan and moves it. Like, all of it. The, all the animals, all the gear, everything, all just gets transported across instantly. This... That is super OP. <laughs> okay, well... Let's do a quick bit of trading, and I think there's uh, some temperate forest tiles here we can settle down in, which would be very nice. There was nothing too valuable there to trade for, but it was more a case of getting rid of all of the gunk we had left behind, or finding a doomsday if we could, that would be nice. So we'll go and have a quick trade over here, and then we're going to settle down in a temperate tile so that we can maybe get our hands on some more animals. This place happens to be selling a berserk pulse, and we are buying, thank you very much. Then we're just going to pop over here and settle down. We might be a little bit too close to this town, but they love us anyway, so it shouldn't be an issue. I really have to get rid of our old village. Where is it? Yeah, I, I think we're getting raided again. What the? Yeah, this is why you want to scrap your old colonies. Where are you? Come on. Yep, there's one of them. Again. Someone with a club has shown up. Yeah, I let the last person run nuts, but I don't think they did anything, did they? Yep, never mind. We will scrap this colony. Once we get rid of this, we'll abandon it. Yep, we should finally get some more raids on us. Sorry about that. Settling this location will annoy the locals a little bit, but we're on plus 100 with them. It'll be fine. This is our new map area. We're going to settle around this tree. We've got an ancient danger over here. But I want to max out another wizard, and I figure we might have time to get it, or that's going to be the goal from now on. I want to start maxing people out because we're getting close to the end game now. So we get around this tree, we try and get everyone up to level 6, or at least another person up to level 6. That was why I've left Pamela off the Luciferium. We haven't put her on the Luciferium yet to heal that brain scar because I want to go easy on the Luciferium until we're back on the road, everyone's maxed out, and we don't have to ever worry about stopping again. So we can raid enough tombs to keep her Luciferium habit uh, fed. And now, now we grow some grass. An interesting quest has come up. This is one of those building quests, but yeah, 12 honor sounds really good, though unfortunately we will have to do an awful lot of building to get it, and you receive the reward when you finish the construction. So we won't have to protect this monument, that's fine for us. We've got 42 days to complete it, that's grand, and we can get two resurrector mexirums or 12 honor. I really wanted the honor, but two resurrector mexirums? Yeah, that's, that, you can't turn that down. Uh. We, we kind of have to accept that. Yeah, this is going to be huge, isn't it? Where is it going to land? Alright, let's see what you are. Now, if we install this... Wow! Okay, that is huge. Look at the size of that thing. Okay. Well, we'll worry about that in a minute. First, we'll drag it inside. And uh, I think we'll wait until after we've got a few levels on. We're going to have to mine out the map and get rid of... Well, get as much steel as we possibly can together. Or we would have, but unfortunately there's a toxic fallout. That means, yeah, we're just gonna leave. Trying to deal with toxic fallouts is a pain in the butt, so instead we will bring all our animals back inside. We're gonna hunt down a few things, uh, make ourselves a few meals, and then just move on to the next tile. The joy of playing nomadic. When a toxic fallout shows up, you can just ignore it and leave. Oh wow, a royal tribute collector showed up. Wonderful timing in the middle of a toxic fog. Well, that's uh, good, good for you, I suppose. Yeah, we're just gonna cook some meals and get out of here, though... You know what? I might go over and have a quick look inside here. We can just take over the team, have a quick gander, use our special abilities if we need to to solve whatever's inside there. Maybe there's something good, you never know. We've got uh, left two people at home because they're not feeling the May West, and that leaves us with these over here, and we are just going straight in. So we're just going to blast a hole in the wall, and whatever's on the other side... Oh, you maybe slow that down a bit. Whatever's on the other side, we're just going to kill. Right, it's a centipede. Ooh, Luciferium, yes, please. Advanced components. Okay, okay. Let's bring everyone inside out of the toxic fog, and you know what? Let's open those crypto sleep caskets. We can let them all fight the centipede. And we might as well have some entertainment in the middle of all of this. We'll have a ring go forward to activate them. A ring, can you shoot from there? No, you cannot. Can you shoot any of these? There you go. Wow. Okay. Uh, most of them are not very active. Ah, oh, there's a few. None of them have anything too useful except for Thunder, who does have a stone-skinned land. We've been on the lookout for one of those for a while now. We got we saw loads earlier, but not anymore. Hey, I said shock them. Oh, damn it, they just moved out of range. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to move ring forward, hopefully before that person kills them with an elite machine gun. Don't kill them. Don't zap them. Nice. Oh, yeah. Now nah, we'll get out of their way. Yeah, whoever's left alive when we're finished will go in and clean up the mess. We're going to have the rest of our team move forward while they're busy doing whatever they're doing. And we're going to have them attack the centipede. Well, that's busy getting meleeed down by some mega scarabs. Uh-oh. What did we hit? What was even there? I think crypto sleep caskets can explode? I didn't know that. Oh no, don't destroy my Luciferium. Yeah, well, it definitely messed up the Mega Scarabs. And how's my Luciferium doing? It's on fire. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, we might want to actually start meleeing that down. There's nothing to stop it shooting back now. I'll teleport this thing over and we can uh, beat the snot out of it. Now, oh, you might want to take out your sword and you want to get to a better position. Oh, and Thumb, I want you to skip that Luciferium to here. Uh, the reason we want to skip the Luciferium is when you skip something, it puts it out, as in it's no longer on fire. Oh wait, we have water skip. Someone has water skip. Never mind, they're not at a good angle. But, we've keep it, kept this thing stunned, and you... Wait, where's your sword? Damn it! I'll get you your sword back later. Uh, but that worked out pretty much okay. The hard part is going to be grabbing all this stuff and bringing it back over. Ugh. You know what? We'll, uh, I'm, I've let the animals do it. I've zoned the animals so that they can hopefully go over and drag some of that back here. Uh, how big is our stockpile zone? Yep. So they can drag, hopefully, some of that materials back here because I've allowed them to zone from there and there. So they should hopefully run back with the stuff. Uh, Index is currently returning with our newest prisoner. Oh, our medical uh, experiment. We need to remove their stone skin gland. And there goes our train of animals to pick up all the junk. Hopefully we should have this place stripped out in no time. With that all collected, just one last thing to do. I don't really want to waste the 13 animagrass we've already got, so let's just, you know, let's get to 20 and get one level before we leave here. Something interesting has shown up. A quest. Ooh, and it's interesting because I think we could cheese this one just for the fun of it. I want to see if it works. Uh, what basically happens is we accept the quest, and then three groups of pirates are going to show up, one after the other. First one will show up within two days. Um, so I think we accept the quest because we're leaving this tile anyway, and then we just... Let the pirates wreck this place. Why not? Um, we'll be out of here long before they show up, and so long as we're gone, then yeah, trash the place as much as you want. Eventually the toxic fog will kill them, or they'll leave. And maybe that'll complete the quest for us? I'm not sure. We'll find out. But yeah, I'm, I'm accepting that quest, just to see if it works. We'll accept it for the 11 honor, and we will give it to Pamela. Yeah. Done. Okay. Um, let's get out of here. Oh wait, no. We're almost finished with the tree. Two more anima grass and we can gain a level four. Was it Pinky this time? I think we're giving it to Pinky. Yeah, it's Pinky's turn. Time to load every everything up and get out of here. Marriage is on. Chief has proposed marriage to Pamela. Pamela agreed and the two are now engaged. Aw, excellent. That's going along so well. I can't wait until that relationship breaks down and it causes us terrible problems. Anyway, that's one thing done. And now we'll strip out the rest of this and get everyone else on their way. Since we've got a bit of room this time around, we're going to take all the steel with this as well. Why not? We can sell it at the locals. And how is our quest looking? Paid conflict. Accepted seven hours ago. The first group will arrive two days after we do it. Okay. <gasps> Damn it. Can we take that with us? The monument maker. Uh, index, where are you? Damn it. Load monument maker into caravan. Yes, please. And then we'll just make sure that uh, we keep someone away from the edge. Chief's caravan is formed, yep. Now, the thing is, Index is going to come back and the whole caravan is going to be at the edge of the map and why is everything slowing down? For a second there, I thought the pirates had arrived and that was going to be very uncomfortable. Uh, Index is not going to make it quite in time. So all we'll do is we'll just uh, have Pinky not join the caravan for a minute. Transport pod crash? Oh, come on. Buddy, you just crashed in the exactly wrong place at the wrong time. There's a toxic fallout going on and there's some very unhappy people about to head here. Also, you're very neurotic. You know what? It's fine. Anyway, Pinky will catch up, and we're out of there. Right. Let's uh, get on our way, shall we? This place is about to become very uninhabitable. We'll just go here and trade. Uh, after we've traded here... Oh, are they merged? Yeah, we'll merge those two. And then we'll head over there and we'll trade with them. We'll wait and see what the pirates do. Quick bit of a cash trade at that loca location, and now we're just going to head over here. Actually, is that closer? That's two days. That is 
Yeah, we'll head over here. Is that, that's a year-round growing area. Perfect. Well, we'll head over to that location, and then we'll wait until all the pirate attacks are finished. Well, it's siege time. Let's see what they've brought for us. Well, we kind of know exactly what they brought for us. But there's there's nothing here to siege, so what will they do? Kind of curious. Uh, for the time being, what we're going to do is we're going to have our people just sit on this tile. This tile is temperate forest, so we can forage better there. Though I don't think we're going to have enough items. We're going to have to settle down at some point before our meals run out and our pemmican runs out. Thankfully, the reload worked. Uh, game hasn't crashed yet. Man the hunter pack? Uh, oh, wait. That, that should be tiny. Also, it's an iguana. Oh, we should get that. Four man-hunting iguanas showed up. They will have a bad time when a bunch of pirates show up to murder them. Now, to try and stop this from crashing this time, I've put in some sleeping spots. Normally, the enemies target sleeping spots, so I figure if we put some sleeping spots in here, then maybe the enemies won't, you know, they'll have something to attack and they won't freak out. Oh, great. The toxic fallout ends now, just before they arrive. That's just, yep. Thanks, Randy. Thanks so much. Well, let's see if the game crashes out this time around. Give me a look. See, where'd you come in this time? Okay. They are, well, it's a siege, so they're going to set up and bombard something. Oh, I think they just shot some uh, iguanas. Uh, I really have, I'm kind of curious what they're going to do. Bear in mind, this is only the first group of pirates. Ah, here comes the second group, and it's another siege. Oh, and they're related. Wow, mother and... Mother of member middle, mother-in-law of member ring, mother of member pinky, grandfather of member chief. Uh, we've got grandfather of member middle and grandfather of member pinky. Okay, then. I kind of feel like sending one of the, our people back and doing a neuroquake just to drive them all insane. But then, you know, that would probably be bad for our people. Okay, what are they? Oh my god, they're sending mortars at all the random locations. What if we were to, say, put a sleeping spot there and put a sleeping spot there, and then uh, maybe delete all the rest. All right, now the only sleeping spots on the map are inside each other's bases. Will that crash the game? I have no idea. No, they're still, oh, oh, are they actually mortaring each other? I, no, no, they didn't, unfortunately. It's a pity. I've also claimed all of the surrounding structures just in case they'll probably, yeah, they're now gonna smash up a bunch of stuff. Okay, another siege. How long before they eventually get bored and just go home? Actually, that's three. So if we check the quest, uh, paid conflict, yeah, there'll be three groups. Two similar sized groups will show up. Then all we have to do now is we can just settle down in another tile because they're no longer going to bother us. While those pirates are busy tearing that place apart, I think we'll just move over here and tomorrow morning we'll settle down in that tile. It's the furthest we can get tonight before uh, we're going to get cut off. Oh, nope. Dead there. Thank you very much. And we'll just get rid of all these relationship things. And this will be our new map tile. While the pirates are busy, I don't know, napping or something, we're going to move everyone in here and we're going to colonize this particular section of the map. Uh, it's going to be right beside an ancient danger. There's another one over there. We're not going to use this for tree worship. In fact, we might go back to the old tile we've abandoned. Uh, just, I've been looking at it here. And they're all taking naps. I think they're all either going to have mental breaks or go crazy. Eventually, they can't stay there forever. Uh, as well as that, I didn't actually... Well, I, I left before the tree got uh, harvested. So, yeah, we didn't get a level on our pawn. Oops. But maybe we can send them back once all the pirates are dealt with. As in, they starve to death. We were just getting our bearings here and everything is getting set up. And Randy has sent us a wonderful gift. It's a pod swarm. An orbiting research ship wants to test a new type of insect pheromone. If you agree, they'll sweep Black Cave with the pheromone, provoking an infestation of 45 hives. Now let's jump to the Black Cave. Hmm. The Black Cave is here. So... Yeah, even the one infested currently with a whole bunch of pirates? Yeah, I, I, I think we'll do that. And what's that? That's... Nothing of import. Okay, so they're still firing mortars randomly. I'm pretty sure they're injuring each other. Okay, uh, let's see if anything happens there. Uh, w when the insects show up, I'll let you know. For now, we're just going to finish off gaining ourselves some space, and we're going to tap into this tomorrow. Oh, infestation. 
Yes, 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 yes. Jump to location. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Come on. Oh, my God. They're actually mortaring each other. Ah, beautiful. Just beautiful. Hmm. So it would appear, yeah, the, the insects don't care anymore. They're going to go back to doing whatever they were doing. The, ooch. Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever going back to this tile. It's infested with 45 hives. Though I'm kind of curious, if we leave this here, will the insects keep spawning and growing and getting more and more out of control? I mean, we kind of could leave it here, and then if any quests show up for enemies to show up there, we could watch them fight the bugs. Mmm, delicious. Anyway, where were we? Ah, yes, we were back here. Oh, oh. I think the pirates angered the insects. You can sort of see this stream of insects all just pouring towards their location. Yeah, I, I think this is not going to go well. Oh, that's not going to go well for the pirates, even with all of this firepower. So that is an impressive amount of firepower. How many is there? 62. Oh, my God. Anyone else getting Starship Troopers vibes? This definitely is giving me Starship, oops, Starship, Starship Trooper vibes. And so ends the pirate's assault on whatever was this base. Oh god. I think these hives will degrade if they're outside, will they? Eh, never mind, it doesn't matter. We were, we were done with this tile anyway. I don't think we can ever go back there now. Yeah, we're going to drill out some of this and then we're going to open up this tomb. Would you look at that? Pamela just became an acolyte. She gained all the honor for that quest. That was such a, an honorable way to do that quest, I suppose. We have a minor bit of a complication from running effectively two maps at the same time. This is why you don't normally do it. Uh, we have got some friendlies coming in to help us out on this map. Yeah, they, their, their pods, though, went haywire and they've landed all over the place and there's not a lot of them. So... They're going to pop out of their pods and then immediately die to a whole bunch of angry bugs. Sorry, guys. What are you armed with? You are armed with a bio-coated incendiary launcher. Wonderful. That's just going to cause more fires. You can see the blue on the map. That's our friendlies. They're all going to die. Let's speed this along. Yeah. I don't see them surviving. Jesus, those bugs make an absolutely beautiful mess. Oh. Yeah, they're fleeing. That's sort of to be expected. Now, if you look over here, though, you'll notice that the hives are not being tended. They're due for maintenance. And I believe if they don't get maintained, they die? Or they fall over? Or I... I ooh, this is still seem to be spawning, though. Mm, never mind. This morning, the uh, psychic drone has ended, so we're going to, well, go take care of a little bit of a side project. Not this. This we are going to completely ignore. We don't care about this defoliator ship. It can do what it's going to do. We're going to go and open up this ancient tomb and see if it's got anything decent inside it. Knock, knock, open wide, see what's on the other side. We got one Lancer, a Scyther. All right, not too bad. You know what that means? Teleport time. Actually, no, if the first one runs over the trap, we'll let it. Otherwise, oh, thumb, sword out. We're going to need you to have your skip ability ready to go. Okay, you need to, like, skip way over there. Yeah, you can also skip way over there. We'll, hmm. yeah, we'll check you over here somewhere. We just want them far enough away that we can take care of the other problems. Right, uh, we'll skip you right in there. <laughs> um, oh, and the other one, where are we going to put the other one? I think we'll get in next to skip the other one right there. 
There we go. Now we can get these others to put their ranged weaponry back on and we can start working on those scythers. And by working on them, I mean we'll, we'll send another one for a little bit of a teleport. You look injured, so you know what? You can go all the way back there. Come on. Oh, that one got way too close. You know what? A little bit further back, buddy. There we go. Much better. Done. Time to move in here. What is it? Tech print? Flesh shaping? Actually, this is the first time we've seen a tech print in a while. We have we have managed to knock out all of the uh, tech prints you need. We're, we're that far along. It's kind of hand nice doing this. Uh, let's uh, move in here and see what the crypto sleeps have to offer. We'll get Ring here to knock on the caskets. Ooh, there's a lot of angry people in there. That one's already lining up a shot. There's some auto shotguns. Let's see if any of them got any good parts worth harvesting. We do have a bionic eye here and a bionic leg there. They would look good on our colonists. Uh, Ring, I'd like you to pull back. I don't want you getting hit by a shotgun in the face. That would be bad. Yep, good job. Um, hmm. You know what, I'm not even going to try too hard to capture them. We're going to lure them outside and then we're going to kill them. As they put their face around the corner. Oh, I hate those shields. In that case, skip it is. Dear Lord, I sort of abused the abuse skip an awful lot, but it's just so useful. So we'll skip Petra over here to the back. And we'll skip what's her name here to the front. And oh, Petra got away. Damn it, Index, you were supposed to skip that one. Ah, okay, there we go. Uh, that one didn't set off the trap. I was kind of hoping she'd set off the trap when she landed there. Never mind. Yeah, we'll just put her at the back there. All right, where's the rest of you? Let's do a little bit of skipping, shall we? And zap and think. And one more teleport or two, and I think this will be all done. Oh, also, we. The person with the bionic leg, we stole that. Yeah, what are you doing? Don't, don't. You should probably not walk by us like that. That will go badly for you. Oh my god, everyone keeps missing them. We'll just move them to somewhere more conducive to getting smashed to bits. Alright then. Uh, let's see what we can scrounge. We made ourselves a little throat when we were going to get Pamela to. Uh, progress up to her acolyte level, but it turns out you can't have any enemies of the fraction on the map, so these count as enemies even though they're asleep. Uh, we're just going to leave them there. And I love that expanding ring of fire, it looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, that roof collapses from back home. Oh yes, there's a manhunter pack back home as well, I should probably point that out. This has been an interesting experiment, leaving this active. Now there's the, uh, a bunch of manhunting polar bears wandering around the place as well. So we've got a bunch of manhunting polar bears and a whole bunch of angry bugs that are just hanging around this area. I want another quest to show up that just sends in a whole bunch of angry pirates or something like that. I really hope we get a quest for one of those that gets triggered for here. I would love to see a massive fight go on. I'm just going to leave it there for a little bit longer. It is kind of annoying and interferes with the main gameplay. They were right, it does affect balance, but you know what? It's hilarious. Considering how juiced our people are, we shouldn't have to worry too much about breaking this open. Oh. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll go with red, Camaro, no. There we go. Something river. What have we got? What the hell? That's an ancient danger? That doesn't look like an ancient danger. All right. Let's, let's break some more walls. That is weird. Okay, so it's an ancient danger inside an ancient danger. And what is that? Orbital mech cluster targeter? What the bejesus? That's just pure chaos. An ancient military targeting device. It signals an orbital platform to drop a mechanoid combat cluster at the targeted point. The cluster may include any mixture of mechanoids and mech defensive structures. Oh my god. Any mech unit dropped now will indiscriminately attack any human they see, including the ones that summoned them. The unit, the, the unit only contains one usage code, so it can only be used once. That's terrifying. Uh, we, we have to try that on someone. Uh, we'll uh, have to... What are these? These are all... Pikeman, uh, Lancer, yeah, Pikeman. We're going to teleport them into close combat and murder them. All right, one of them appears to have stopped. We're just going to teleport that one right there. Uh, and it's insta-dead. And then we'll probably grab another one with one of our other people. Oh, come on, stop moving. Come back here, you muppets. Oh, wait, one of them returned. That's fine. Jesus. I love the mechanoid mosh pit. It just makes things so much simpler. Let's go, let's stop hanging around, let's go grab this, uh, pikeman. We're going to get some operating done on Thumb right now. We're going to give them a quick stone-skinned land, they'll be ripped out of the last prisoner, and then we're also going to give them an aesthetic nose. 
uh, it wouldn't really matter so much that they're ugly for now because well they're a trauma savant they're not they can't talk to anyone but it will matter later so we're going to get them a, a, a body shaper later on just to make sure that when we do cure finally cure their uh trauma savant that they become you know that they're well liked and that people won't hate them for them being ugly next operation is going to be for nails nails is going to get a bionic leg to replace their lost toe because you know this is rimworld and when you lose a toe you replace the entire leg a mutual enhancer a mutual enhancer for their left kid kidney and a psychic sensitizer even though they have no psych psych powers yet we, we do want to get this in now while we've got them under anesthetic a local mayor has gone mad well wonderful we'll kill it when it shows up i think we've gotten everything we want out of this tile let's leave in fact, I think I have a new idea for our next tile that might make it just a little bit faster. Mm. Now that we're on the road, I've decided I'm going to leave that second place there as well. I mean, why not? It's got a it's got a bunch of angry mechanoids in there, and all we have to do is wait till someone shows up and then trigger a request or something. I'm I'm curious to see how much we can exploit this, but just just for a little bit. Otherwise I think it'd get kind of annoying. But uh, I think first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna try a new settlement strategy. So we'll do it in the morning. The idea here is very simple. We're going to take all of the crew, barring Pamela, and we're going to sl split them off into their own little group. Then we just rotate through here. We've got the seven tribes people and we settle the tile. So we're sending in a seven person, or an eight person squad, their, or seven person squad. Their job is to go in, slaughter an ancient danger, and then we sort of move into it straight away. And it just makes it much faster. So we did take some of these uh, weapons with us so that everyone can get their uh, their sidearms in play. Otherwise, it doesn't really work very well. Come on, grab your sidearms. Who's missing one? From what I can see on this map, there's only one ancient danger. I was looking around, but all I can find is this one down here. Uh, also, an eclipse has kicked in, so yeah, perfect timing. That'll mess with our... I don't know if that messes with our accuracy, though. And all we have is some bugs and... A tornado generator? Oh... Oh, Randy, you're being so nice. A tornado generator? It almost feels like going back and trying to attack those bugs. Uh, you know what? Let's go... Let's go kill these ones. I don't think they're hostile. Let's find out. Oh, they're about to turn hostile. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably get a little bit of skipping going on here. Well, at least for the big ones. And for the smaller ones, I think we'll just skip them into the middle. You can go right there. We'll put the fire blades up front. Fire blades have a tendency to make people who... Animals that get hit by them to run away. And done. Dear Lord, those fire... Those uh, plasma swords are just so handy. Well, time for these crowd to go in there. They can finish that off and then we'll open up the, uh, the crypto caskets. We'll have ring there. Clip one of those. We'll see what's available. Eh, none of them are actually worth killing. We'll just let them kill each other, and if any of them survive, we'll hack them to bits once they reach the exit. We're going to quickly stick a door on this, and, next, and Index, you have Solar Pinhole. Where is it? Ah, Solar Pinhole. We'll just stick that right there. And... Boom. Yeah, we'll bring everyone in. Actually, is there even a point? We've got everything we want out of this tile. If it was close to the tree, I suppose it'd be worthwhile. I think... I think we just go. The best bit about reforming the caravan? It's really quick. Done. They pick up everything and they should leave. Come on, get out of here, people. Uh, we can't tend to thumb just yet, but fortunately, they didn't really get that hurt in that whole en engagement. Glad uh, They got cut by a Gladius. And their right thumb almost got... Ooh, they almost severed the right thumb. Never mind, they're out of here. Oh, a quick thing I'd like to note is they have moderate expectations, even though we barely brought anything with us. Uh, the reason being is their armor and equipment is just worth so much it takes them to moderate expectations, which I think is kind of impressive. And we're off again. And I think this one, we're, we're not going to keep this gully. That would just be a waste. So we'll abandon that one. Uh, but we got everything we needed out of it. And I think we'll repeat the same procedure right over here. But we'll rest for the night. Let everyone heal up. Thumb needs to get a little bit of medical attention. And once that's done, the next morning we'll repeat the same thing again, preferably with a place that's a slightly better positioned for some tree worship. Time to go try out this new place. Hopefully they've got, uh, well, better stuff. The last few ancient dangers have been a bit weird. I don't think, I think there was like two only caskets in the last one and zero caskets in the one before that. And a lot of Luciferium. This new map looks wonderful. There's one, only one ancient danger, but it's right over here. It's sort of the edge of the map, but it's right by the tree. So I say we clear that out, we move in, then maybe expand our base just a little bit. And there's a mad rat somewhere. 
yeah, it, it's not going to be on this map. So we clear this area out and then we can sort of wall around the tree. And once we've walled around the tree, we can do some close by worship and, you know, get a, get a level there on, what was it, Pinky, I think was the one we want to get leveled up. Before we can take care of that though, there's a raid by the the Pact of Toxos, basically a bunch of tribes people. They're showing up here at this location to raid it. And as you can see, there's quite a few of them spread around. Well, when I say quite a few of them, not enough that they're going to be able to take on this many bugs. There's 61 mega spiders. Their death is absolutely guaranteed. Oh, and there's, if we include all the other bugs, yeah, there's 193 bugs. They're very dead. Just, just so, so dead. But that's fine. Once they're dead, we'll scrap that tile. In fact, I think we'll scrap the last two tiles. There's no point uh, keeping this up. It was a fun experiment while it lasted, but I think it's time for us to go back to normal. All right, let's crack this open and see what's inside. Right, we've got Pikeman, Pikeman, Scyther, Lancer, and a Psychic Suit Pulsar. Jeez. There's not really a lot in these. Well, I suppose we did get those tornado things, so I can't complain too much. Now, let's see if we can't skip some of these problems out. Turns out we can't reach from there. Everyone out of the way. We'll just have to uh, lure them out. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Ooh, there's a few of you. Nothing worth keeping. They're all, uh, kind of pointless. I kind of knew that shield. I also knew that shield was going to get deployed. We just throw together a quick steel door. We get the steel from dismantling these, uh, sarcophagus, and we have ourselves a new base. Oh, an index. Why don't you get in here, and you can give us a solar pinhole. There we go. And we have light. Nice. Now let's bring in the rest of the caravan and populate this place up. We are, yeah, we seriously need to make a stuff and sell our junk. We have, we, we've got eight flak vests we've picked up somewhere along the way. I have no idea how. All right, I think, uh, I think I'm way over budget for today anyway. We did pretty good, though. I think it's time we got rid of some of our older collections. Uh, for example, this area over here, just one trick before we get rid of it. Uh, what you can do is if a, a raid does show up and these are not active, well, you can go grab a structure and they don't like when anything is built near them when there's a certain radius. So if you say build a little bed here, suddenly they go nuts. So you can wake them up to get them to do stuff by just building something near them. This is handy if a raid shows up and you want them to, and you just basically hide inside your base, pirates show up and you put down a sleeping spot by your sleeping mechanoids, the mechanoids wake up and start fighting the pirates. Eh, it's a handy trick to have. Though I think we will just get rid of these. We, uh, we don't need that settlement anymore. And this one over here, I think we can get rid of it. I'll put it to the, the comments, but I think there's no point keeping this. It's kind of gotten a bit out of control. Look at the amount of bugs. It's just stupid. It was fun to see if we got any quests that might show up and uh, help with it, but so far there haven't been any quests that would be fun to throw at that one. Anyway, I'll cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck.